Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this showcase video. We have an awesome completed Warhammer Underworld's Night Vault Godsworn Hunt commission for you guys to check out. Six really cool models uh, and you get that awesome little dog at the front as well. They're all very intricate, which is really, really cool. If you're new to Siege Studios' YouTube channel, uh, Siege Studios as a business, we are a UK-based premium commission miniature painting service. We paint from an above tabletop level as a minimum, which is our bronze level, all the way up to our platinum level, which is a competition quality uh, display piece. Uh, so if you are interested in commission, all you need to do very simply is head to our website's contact form, which is linked in the description of this video. Click on that link, it will take you there. And all you need to do is select the relevant drop down options for your commission from those available and in the message section put a list of models plus any extra notes the list of models is also a specific layout that we've put on there so please try and copy that and then once you've done that fire that off to us to get the process started we're back in a second to have a look at this awesome awesome godsworn hunt commission in more detail see you guys back in a sec so let's dive in, have a look at this awesome Godsworn Hunt Warband from Warhammer Underworld's Night Vault. Really, really cool selection of models. Uh, lots of intricacies on, on in, in the individual characters as well, which is really, really cool. Uh, we'll start off with, let's start off with a dog just because it's an awesome model. Uh, just get that to focus so you can see. It's so tiny. Let's just get that to focus. There you go. So you can see, very aggressive. Looks like it's about to chew someone's face off. Um, really, really cool with the little totems and things on his sort of strap in there. has all been sort of picked out and highlighted, which is lovely. This whole Whole project has been worked on by Fletcher, one of the artists here at Siege. He's done a tremendous job on it. Really lovely finish as well uh, for this uh, this project as well, which is great. Uh, but you can see aggressive doggy here, just bounding forward. I'd be personally very keen to use this as a, as a mascot for an Imperial Guard commissar or something. But um, but really really cool. Uh, so that's just the dog. And then we'll pull forwards uh, one of the characters from the unit. Really really cool command imposed there with a lovely subtle glow on the hand as well. Complimentary uh, blue inner on the uh, cape as well, which is lovely with various blues used and glazed on there just to really add tonal variation all the skin tones as well with a lovely very saturation of tonal variants so you've got the darker red portions on the lower undersides and the brighter portions on the top as well just to show light sourcing which is really nice all the bone work and the hair and plumes all picked out uh, in a lovely fashion as well and then moving around the back you can see this lovely two-tone cape outer which is lovely um, which is really cool a lot, nice variation of browns on this top half a nice variation of subtle creams and sort of um, sort of warmer colors there as well a uh, little bits of chipping and stuff done on these sort of metal metallic parts as well and the metal parts have got a lovely sheen across this force as well which is really nice so that's just her uh we'll pull forward this lady with a spear really really cool she looks very aggressive about to ruin someone's day with a spear to the face probably um but you've got this awesome awesome pose very commanding very sort of dominant and aggressive which is lovely uh the, all the little intricacies plumes hairs knife uh, the loincloth tabard and sort of belt buckle wall picked out in a lovely fashion as well super super clean finish on these as well which is really lovely so that's just her pull forward the chap at the back with a massive massive axe here you've got the lovely sheen on all that metal work as well it's got an eye patch there as well which is lovely but all the eyes and everything fully picked out on these guys as well uh, all the scars highlighted with higher tonal variances just to make them stand out on the skin Around the back, you can see all the, the sheen on that metal again as well. And the lovely, lovely smooth skin tones that have been achieved on this, on these uh, models as well, which is really, really nice. I do really like these sculpted bases as well with the extra details. They are very, very cool. Uh, so that's just him. And then pull forward this chap with an enormous, an enormous sword here, as you can see again, that lovely sheen on that metallic work that's been done on the true metallics that have been used on this, uh, on this project. Uh, again, lovely tonal variation and tonal properties on the skin as well, which is really cool. His loincloth and everything all fully picked out and highlighted with lovely uh, sort of contrast added to it in the right areas all the uh, areas of his leather work all done in a lovely fashion as well and the uh, the, the the sort of shoulder armor as well has got some nicks and scratches and just a little bit of a uh, sort of texture on it as well which is really nice so that's just him and then the uh, final model we'll pull forward this chap with the awesome pose and the uh, who's just let loose an arrow to ruin someone's day which is really cool uh, just get that to focus for you guys again really really cool loads of detail on these individual models and uh, the bow is very very nice i love the sort of um, kind of like bone work kind of effect that it's got done on it as well which is really nice uh, love the commanding pose and you can't forget the little scorpion on the base as well because that's just an awesome little detail uh, lovely uh, tonal variation in the skin as well obviously you've got various different browns 
backgrounds that have been used to give that overall lovely complexion, which is great. Uh, and then moving around the back, we've got obviously all the intricate little detail works as well on this model, the, the, the pouch of the uh, arrow holder. Uh, you've also got obviously the boots and the plumes of hair as well around the boots have all been highlighted in a lovely fashion as well. Uh, awesome, awesome model. Probably one of my favourites from this uh, from this warband as well. It's got to be between him and also the lady with a spear and you can't forget the dog really, can you? So, um, so that's just this awesome, awesome Godsworn Hunt not Warhammer Underworld's Night Bolt Warband. Really, really cool models. Uh, I do hope you like them. We're going to come back in a second to just talk about warbands and things. And you can see these guys in a little bit more detail back in a sec. Stick around. I'll see you shortly. So thanks for checking the video out, guys. Really appreciate it ever so much. And I do hope you like this Godsworn Hunt commission, which we've completed. I know Fletcher had a really good time working on it. Uh, if you are interested in an Warhammer Underworlds or Shadespire or Necromunda Gang commission or you'd be a character or an army, then all you need to do very simply is head to our website's contact form, which is linked in the description of this video. When you click on that link, it will take you to the contact form. And all you need to do is select the drop-down options that are relevant for your project and commission. And in the message section, include a list of models in our format, which is also shown on there. Fire that off to us to get the process started and we'll come back to you accordingly. Uh, also, in the description of the video, you can find all the links to our social media, so Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Please feel free to go give us a like and follow respectively on those. Uh, you can keep up to date with everything we're doing as a business. And also, while you're here on, on YouTube, a couple of things really, really quickly. Obviously, give us a subscribe so you can keep up to date with all the videos. If you do hit the bell icon, you will be notified when new videos go up, so make sure you do that just to keep up to date. And uh, and finally, what warband do you like from Shadespire or Warhammer? Underworlds. Let us know in the comments. It'd be really cool to have a chat with you guys. Uh, I personally really like these, so I think it'd be cool if you let us know what you think about this one and also any others that you like. Speak to you soon, and thanks for watching the video. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. I want to make sure that you guys have an accessible way to get hold of skills and new techniques and develop yourselves as painters. And that's it really, guys. So thank you very much, and we hope you'll, uh, you'll join us on Patreon.